Summer is definitely in New York City. Today, I would like to introduce you guys to two interesting exhibitions from galleries in Tribeca. First of all, we will look around the gallery called Nissel Boshan Gallery. At downstairs, there is a solo exhibition of Sarah Harrison. Sarah Harrison graduated from the Yale MFA program and had numerous solo and group exhibitions in New York. Through this exhibition, five paintings were installed at the gallery and every painting is oil on a wood panel. Each painting was created on the view from the iron gates to the outside nature. The most interesting thing from these paintings is the slight slope on the wall. Each painting looks very flat once we look at the painting up front. But once you see the painting from a 45 degree angle, you will realize it has a little slope. And the side of each painting has different colors and figures on it. I like the way she tries to navigate between sculpture and painting. How do you see these works? Are they sculpture or painting? This painting is also the same style as we just saw before, but it depicts the different season May. Before checking out the next exhibition, my friend and I went to my favorite restaurant, the Odeon in Tribeca. This restaurant is such a historical place. Famous artists like Andy Warhol and Jean-Michel Basquiat used to hang out a lot at this restaurant. My friend Ray, such a charming guy, he was accepted with his new sunglasses. The food we ordered just came. Now we are heading back to the group show at Grimm Gallery in Tribeca. This group show was curated by Margot Samuel under the title Someone Said That The War Is A Stage. Thus, this group show brings together 16 artists working in a variety of media to explore performance and theatrical imagery. Once you enter the gallery, you will see this German artist Matthias Fischer's work. He usually depicts domestic interior scenes and landscapes that bring into question the perception of space and he gradually builds thick layers of pigment on canvas so you can feel a very rich texture on canvas. During the summer, the New York art scene is partially on vacation, so we can see numerous group shows rather than solo exhibitions. But it's sometimes a precious moment to see diverse mediums and styles from different artists. Now, let's check out other works. These consecutive three paintings look fabulous as well. 
I cannot tell what's exactly going on canvases, but I can assume each painting has very unique narratives. Different colors of red on canvas are twinkled, creating the respective space. I've never seen this artist before, but her works definitely remind me of Matthew Wong or George O'Keeffe. The way she expresses nature phenomena like sunset or sunrise is pretty unique. I could also find one of the most trendy artists, Emily Mass Smith's small painting as well. 